First, we'll divide a polynomial by a monomial. For example, divide 8x squared plus 9x minus 3 by 4. Each term of the numerator is divided by 4. First, 8x squared divided by 4 equals 2x squared. Next, 9x divided by 4 equals 2.25x. And last, negative 3 divided by 4 equals negative 0.75. Answer, 2x squared plus 2.25x minus 0.75. Another example, divide 9x to the fourth minus 12x cubed minus 14x by 3x. First term, 9 divided by 3 equals 3, and 1x gets cancelled. In the second term, negative 12 divided by 3 equals negative 4, and 1x gets cancelled. In the third term, negative 14 divided by 3 is negative 4.6, and the x's gets cancelled. Answer, 3x cubed minus 4x squared minus 4.6. Let's try dividing by binomials now. The setup of a computational procedure of division of a polynomial by a binomial is similar to that of regular division, except that in here we use terms with base, coefficient, and exponent, and also do algebraic subtraction. In other words, each term will be divided, then multiply and subtract. Sometimes there will be a remainder, sometimes the last operation will leave none. For example, divide. The setup is standard. Numerator on the right and denominator on the left. Begin by dividing the leading term of the numerator by the leading term of the binomial denominator and place the result above the line like regular division. Like in regular division, multiply the quotient by the denominator and place the product below the leading term of the trinomial. Do the same for the second term of the binomial. Now subtract algebraically. This means that the sign of the products must change, so that the first term of the trinomial cancels and the second term becomes 10y. This is the end of the first cycle or interaction. To start the second cycle, like in regular division, bring down negative 10 and place it next to 10y. Divide 10y by y and place quotient above next to y and multiply y minus 2 by 10 and subtract algebraically. Answer, y plus 10 with 10 over y minus 2 remaining. Another example. To properly divide an expression with missing terms like the binomial, the middle terms x squared and x must be inserted. This is done by leaving space for the missing terms before beginning. Then start like before. x cubed divided by x is x squared. Multiply x squared by x is x cubed. x squared by 1 is x squared. Subtract. Cancel the x cubed bring the x squared down. This is the end of the first cycle. Divide again. Negative x squared by x is negative x. Multiply negative x by x plus 1. You get negative x squared and negative x. Subtract. Cancel and bring the positive x down. This is the end of the second cycle. Now bring down the positive 1. Divide x by x and the result 1 is placed above in the quotient. Multiply 1 by x plus 1 and get x plus 1. Subtract. This is the end of the third cycle with no remainder. 